So Gearbox have just dropped details on the May 14th hotfix. Today we check out what's changing, what's being added and a few other things. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, at amazing prices with amazing weekly deals, check out G2A, linked within the video description. So today's hotfix addresses a few things, changes the loot pool and the way it works in the Mallow and Raid, adds a legendary into the loot pool which we will check out in a few other bits, but let's get straight into it people. Today we will release a hotfix for Borderland 3 which will be live on all platforms by 12pm PST. In this week's hotfixes, Loot the Universe starts on Necrotafio and we address some community concerns. As usual people we know to apply hotfixes, wait at the main menu until you see that sign that appears and says hotfixes applied. Okay, so the Loot the Universe mini event is taking place on Necro Tafio this week when these hotfixes are live. And this will last until May 21st at 9am PT. Activate the Loot the Universe event on Necro Tafio until 9am PT on May 21st. Address a report concern where Mayhem would occasionally not award cash, Iridium or XP after death. Address a report of concern that their legendary weapons Storm and Firestorm were sometimes not spawned in their elemental orbs when fired. Remove the inaccurate anointed gunner text from weapons with the non character specific elemental critical hit anointment. Added the Mongol to Funk and Slough's item pool and increased its damage. Now, this is a weapon that's been in the files and I covered about three or four weeks ago where someone had actually retrieved it from the files because it wasn't dropping in game and we spoke a little bit about this. They've now added it into Funk and Slough's loot pool, so that's pretty cool. So I will go and get this, people. I will go farm it. I'll bring you guys a review on it later today. Change the dedicated loot pools for takedown at the Mellow and Black Sites bus and minibus. Walton and the Valkyrie squad. Increase the chance for more than one legendary to drop from the dedicated loot pools of the bus and minibus in the takedown at the Mellow and Black Sites. We thinned out Walton's dedicated loot pool with today's hotfix. As a result, Valkyrie Squad now drops the takedown at the Mellow and Black Sight shields exclusively from their dedicated loot pool, while Walton drops the takedown at the Mellow and Black Sight weapons from its dedicated loot pool exclusively. This does not affect world drops from these enemies. Paired with the change to allow more than a single legendary to possibly drop at one time, players should have an easier and more consistent farming experience in this content. Now what we don't see here people is word on Mayhem 2.0 and the seemingly appalling loot drops that a lot of people are experiencing. I mean whether they ninja fix this, I mean they have addressed it over the past few hot fixes so it may be something they stealth patch in we don't know yet but we will see. Well some decent changes for sure I mean I was farming the Mallow and Black Sight and loot seemed appalling there. Glad to see that's been thinned down now and we have a better chance of getting more than one legendary that's pretty cool and also the inclusion of the Mongol, which should be pretty epic too. But we will get that, we will go farm that, and I'll bring you a video on it later today. But yeah guys, that's today's hotfix May 14th, not a massive one, but definitely some changes to think about. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe, and if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.